Hey guys, it's Austin, Brush for Hire. Just wanted to give you a quick studio update here. <clears throat> so, uh, we've got this lovely piece of terrain that I've been working on for a mini wargaming terrain tutorial here recently. And uh, this is just a big rocky outcropping, and we've got these nice uh, green crystal formations. Uh, pretty ubiquitous between a whole bunch of different game systems. They could easily be Necron related for Warhammer 40k. They could be Crix related for uh, War Machine. They could be um, uh, Skaven related. They could be uh, um, what's the name of the green crystal that they use? Uh, Warpstone? Yeah, Warpstone for Warhammer Fantasy. So there's just about uh, one or more factions or items or anything in each of the game systems that seem to have some sort of glowing green crystal thing. Um, and this is made out of uh, foam covered in uh, some putty and other things which uh, you guys couldn't see in the full tutorial on how to build this piece. Um, let me spin this around so you can see the other side. It's a pretty hefty piece too, so chances of it moving around unexpectedly on the game table are, are uh, pretty slim. Um, but yeah, you can see the entire tutorial when it gets posted in the mini wargaming vault um, <clears throat> for those of you who are already members. And those who aren't, they're pretty much always running some sort of special on a free trial, so you guys can check it out and see what kind of content they have there, see if it's something you'd be interested in. Um, and my favorite part of the, this piece of terrain here is, uh, pardon me, it's difficult to do this with one hand. All of these lovely crystals light up. I just love that. I love it when uh, I can do a piece of terrain that's uh, a little more lifelike and interactive than just a static piece of painted terrain. <clears throat> I've seen a couple of the pieces that I've been impressed with out there these days. Uh, I can't remember where I've seen them, but some that move or even produce fog or smoke. I think that's pretty cool. Um, Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I uh, hope you'll take a look at the full tutorial when it gets posted in the Mini Wargaming Vault. Until the next video, happy wargaming.